It's a sunny Saturday morning and a great day for an Illinois road trip. Historic Illinois Route 66 is surrounded by fields of corn, soybeans, wheat, and coal mining. Driving past Bush Stadium, home of the St. Louis Cardinals, we leave the hectic city traffic for the quiet farmlands of Illinois. The St. Louis Arch, standing tall in the distance, was built in 1965 and is a mid-century modern landmark of Missouri. A billboard with a large smiley face emoji that reads St. Louis feels fitting for our moods. Cars and motorcyclists zoom by us, all of us enjoying the beginnings of the autumn breeze. We arrive to our first stop along Route 66, an antique shop called the Pink Elephant Antique Mall. The antique mall houses a variety of antiques and unique sculptures. There is an ice cream shop attached outside. In the grass sits a UFO where we find an alien in a tie-dye shirt. Once inside, we find an array of items like Coca-Cola signs, Pez dispensers, antique cameras, and a candy shop. A Ford boom truck catches our attention for a rustic photograph. Leaving the antique mall, we continue our journey north on Route 66. Windows rolled down, the blue sky above us, cornfields to the left and right of us, we arrive at Henry's Rabbit Ranch. The ranch has a collection of vintage gas station items. On display are old classic gas pumps and an emporium of highway and truck memorabilia. It even has a small area of real rabbits to pet. We are on the road again. Arriving at a fork in the road, a sign stands tall, dividing historic Route 66 into two versions, 1930 to 1940 and 1940 to 1977. We decide to take the older route leading to a small town named Mount Olive. Mount Olive is alive with small town life. We pass a farmer driving his tractor, laundry drying in the sunlight, a passing train, and a classic 70s Mustang Mach 1. After parking the car, we walk down Main Street, capturing slices of a bygone era. Approaching the end of our photographic journey in the city of Litchfield, we stop for our last images. Route 66 Cafe, Belvedere Motel, and a restored gas station icon, the Vic Suling Gas for Less sign, and finally, the relocated 1924 Ariston Cafe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in our next video.